And there's 30 to 1. You hit it. You called it on the show. I'm happy. My bank account's happy. I'm giving away hoodies all show. You're getting a hoodie for that. You get a hoodie. All three of you get hoodies. Mikey, how yeah. many hoodies are you giving out today? Like 45? I'm not counting. Who knows? It's time. We're all going in together. We have somebody here who likes to fade the group chat. You guys are the absolute worst. Put some bleeping respect on my name. Why are you even in this group chat? You're not even betting. You're not even telling me I'm wrong. You have no original takes. Get him out again. I don't want you in here. Get out of the group chat. Goodbye. You just joined the BR Betting group chat. We've got locks, we've got hoodies to give away, and we've got a game seven, Speshy Weshy, coming up for you today. Uh, yeah, oh yeah. I am Vern alongside Kelly in Vegas, Mikey Locks, Greg Ivory, and Cabby Richards. We are gonna be giving away hoodies all show. So keep firing off your takes in the comments. And we are grateful the NBA is back and to be here talking to you about our favorite bets. But the boycott happened for a reason, and Cabby has some words for us today. Thank you, Vern. We salute the NBA and WNBA players for continuing to use their platforms to inspire substantive change in the local markets with government officials. We salute you for influencing your board of governors to stay committed to social initiatives and to inspire millions to continue having dialogue about the inequities in society. So we salute you. It's gotta be hard to be fully focused on basketball with all these other things going on, but with some positive changes, it's um, it's good to be able to watch the playoffs finish out. So thank you very much, ladies and gents of the NBA and WNBA. Well said, Cabby. Thank you. Thank you, Cab. Appreciate that, and let's get into it. This is our Game 7 special. At the end of this show, we're going to let you decide what we are hammering as a family in the Jazz Nugs matchup tonight. It's Jamal Murray. It's Donovan Mitchell. Both have dropped 50-plus, and we want to know which of them you think is going to post another huge number tonight. Look at that. We got a little boosty boost down at the bottom from our friends at FanDuel. Love that. Whatever you decide, we are going to hammer it together. So drop your takes in the comments through the show. And now, let's talk about one of the group chat's new favorite bets, the same game parlay. Mikey, what are you feeling for We're this? doing it. Vern, We're doing it. I just, I need to get rich. By the way, I'm seeing a lot of what to do in the comments. Just fire off hot takes, make fun of Vern, give the rest of us a compliment. I am giving way too many hoodies away. I'm gonna get yelled at for it. But, Vern, the same game parlay, my goodness, every time I check, VR betting on IG, give them a follow. Everybody's getting Somebody's rich. Getting 18K. This is Look at crazy. This. 17K. Everybody hits. 3,500. All on the same game parlay. Every I want this. I need this. We need this Abby, as a family. Greg, Kelly, Vern, it is our time to get rich. Let's get a yacht or some other <laughs> great, great <laughs> stuff with the win. Mikey, you have, there's a reason you haven't posted any of those, because you were bad at betting. But let's cook one up for us together as a family. We're about to Game be a seven. family, and you're going to give me that? Come on, man. Let's bad do a five-leg. Each of us picks a leg. I'm going first. I like the Jokic under two and a half, three-pointers made tonight. Game's going to tighten up in the playoffs. feel like he's going low. Can I give my Vern impression while I give mine, where he's like trying to be all smart, talking cliches? It's gonna be tight <laughs> in the playoffs. I think it's really gonna, like, get out of here with that. Mike, no, you're I'm really taking Joe that Ingles. nerd emoji to heart. Sharp emoji, it's a sharp emoji for me, because I'm a sharp. And the sharps right now, AKA me, are taking Joe Ingles over one and a half three-pointers. The guy is going to be firing threes. He usually gets up there around six, seven attempts. He hasn't been hot lately. Now I'm acting like Vern, just take it, I don't know. Yeah, I, I was going to say, sick I'm gonna analysis, stick with you right bro. there, uh, Mikey Locks, with the, with the Utah Jazz. They acquired Mike Conley Jr. last summer from the Memphis Grizzlies because of his playmaking and because of his veteran leadership. I'm taking the over five and a half assists in game seven versus the Nuggets. Let's build this. Let's get rich, guys. I like that. I like that. I, like I that. went back and forth on a lot, a lot of these today. And, and you guys know, this isn't my strong suit. So I'm going to ask Mikey what he likes. Uh, Mike, do you like my pick? Just I want I need the I need the verification. I, I like, like your it. pick. Okay. Thank you. Give me Kelly. give me a pick on Rudy Gobert over under 15 and a half points. Thank you, Kelly. We're kind of vibing as a group now. This is good juju as we go hit the same game parlay. I think, yeah, take Gobert over. I think I, I okay. think people are gonna be scoring. Put me down for the under. <laughs> <laughs> what? Let's go! Uh, after all that? <laughs> yes. 
Kelly Smart, that's Kate a good take. Thank that's you. how she do you, Mikey. That's how she do you. That's crazy. But I'm going to give you guys a lock here. My guy, Michael Porter Jr., is sitting at 11 and a half points. That's low. He needs to have a big game if Denver wants to win this series. The Jazz have cooled him off a little bit, but I'm hammering the over. I see him having a big game. I see him showing up. So give me the MPJ over. Let's go. Wow. That is bold. Wow. Book it now. All right. Okay. It is official. This is, this is our five-leg parlay right here on the screen. Look at those odds. We get a huge multiple there. Mikey, I hope people are riding with us. What are they saying in the comments? IFC Bob 88 says, take this pick for some random ass reason. I'm pretty sure he was hating on me, but he, I'm gonna, for, for me, I'm gonna spin zone that he was hating on you. So <laughs> IFC Bob, you get a hoodie for that. <laughs> Kelly not being nice. You're right, Joe Yan, she is not being nice. A Leon three, our time to get rich. It is our time to it get is rich. It is our time, love to that. To buy yachts. I'm giving you a hoodie for that. Yes. Thank you for the positivity. Okay, yeah. Let's have posy vibes. Yeah, all right, if you're fantasizing, a lot of positive. If you're if you're visualizing the yacht, we all know the best part of the parlay is thinking about what we're going to spend the money on. So, Mikey, what are you seeing? What are you feeling? Ooh. Vern, this is a good question. I, I mean, this will hit, so it's a good idea for all of us to start thinking, to start scheming. What are we buying? I don't like uh, it. For me, though, I got to get back to neutral. You know, I had kind of a tough run since I cut the mustache off. Been in a, a dark time. <laughs> I'm going to get back to neutral with this parlay. And then after that, we're gonna hit another parlay. Then we buy the yacht. Then we get vibey. Mikey, you should go back to buying, the, trying to buy those diamond earrings for your wife first. Oh, I told you that. Family <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> secrets. I thought I, yeah. Are coming out here on the. On the I group. spent money that I thought I had. Wow. But I, didn't. I, I don't know. I, I don't like this, guys. Like we shouldn't be counting our chickens before they hatch. Like it just, it just. It, we shouldn't be stacking our. What do you mean we shouldn't be counting our chickens? That's exactly what we should be doing. I, it will hatch. We're gonna count the chickens. You sound like my hatch, grandma. Yeah. I believe in the part. Any yacht, but it. Look at, look at, it would be nice. I saw these on BR Kicks last week. It would be nice to get a new pair of Kobe fives, the pro churros, the big there stages. But I want to wait till the stacks come in before I start, you know, uh, shopping around to get me those those fives. No, you got to visualize. Cabby, I mean, I, those fives, I, I, I love those fives, but I'm not spending my money on that. Uh, Pre-COVID, my answer, Probably would be different. Uh, probably be at Dre's. Probably be at Daylight <laughs> Lit, turned up or something. But uh, since yes. since we're in the middle of COVID, and um, I want you guys to really listen to me and, and 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 really vibe with me here because this means a lot to me. Hennessy. What? That's what I'm putting my money on. <laughs> Anything's possible. Yo, can I change my answer? Yes, I'm sir. Twenty five percent. Henny, anything. I love that, Greg. Anything is, is possible when you're under the influence of Hennessy. And uh, I think I started something, Mikey. I think I got a little, uh, a little, a little uh, phrase for the tinnies. The henny and the tinnies. Tinnies oh. and tinnies, baby. God, we're Let's so go. Vibey right now. I love this. <laughs> this is vibey. In honor of those vibes, I'm gonna be a good friend. Mikey Locks needs help. Mikey Locks is unwell. He's my friend, and I can see this, and so I will be fronting him in order to save him. So, Mikey, you will pay me back, but when this hits, I got you. So I do owe you 200 bucks from the virtual ponies. We hit a little bit of a cold streak last night. It, are you, you're saying that's even, right? Officially on the group chat show in front of everyone. That We're is also literally good. the opposite of what I'm that's saying. That's what I heard, though. <laughs> nope. I heard that. Nope. nope. <laughs> Someone save me here. Bird is a good friend. <laughs> that is Thank a you, solid Bobby. friend. <laughs> you guys are all a disaster. Uh, Greg, you can buy a bottle of Hennessy, just not at the club with your winnings, okay? Like, <laughs> Cammy wants to buy a $1,000 pair of shoes. Mikey needs to buy $3,000 earrings so his wife doesn't leave him. I don't know why you'd ever loan your money to Mikey Locks, but that's cool. No, the, the correct answer here is, guys, this is like the stock market. This is an investment. You roll your money back in your bankroll. Sure, you can take a small portion. This is the treat yourself. Thing. Who doesn't want to treat themselves? What? But you put it back in your bankroll Kelly's so you can being continue our mom. to bet. She's being our mom again. What uh, is bankroll management? I still have no idea what it means. Makes that's sense. the worst answer I've ever heard. We're not going to hit a parlay and then not go crazy and buy some Henny and some new Kobe's. Come on, Kelly. <laughs> Mikey, Mikey, what, what are the people saying in the comments? Are they with us or are they with Kelly? They're, uh, they are with us, first of all. Hudson Alas says, I'm spending my money on a hoodie, but I could get a free one if someone gives it to me. Don't spend your money on the hoodie. Go buy some Henny. 
I will give you a hoodie right now. Send us Let's a go. DM. Uh, <laughs> never go wrong with some Henny, Jay Peters 25. Yes, Good sir. Take. Um, yeah, I, I think people are, are already realizing that we're going to, what, Cabby, count our chickens as they hatch? I don't know the same, but we're getting rich. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm just saving you there. I need to address this. We got to talk about the Rockets Thunder game last Amazing. night. Amazing. The haters are saying I had a meltdown on Twitter. Did I am you from know? Houston. I'm a. You did have a meltdown. No, I and did like, not. People are, it's okay, Vern. We've all been there. I had a meltdown after the, the Illinois Michigan State game last year. I don't know if I've even still recovered. Objective <laughs> meltdown. And you didn't even what, get on the game. What did I do that was a meltdown? Say one take you were that was saying wrong. some of the worst takes I've ever had. Just say just one. Say one people. specifically. It was truly awful. Say Go one ahead. specifically. Oh, you you don't know. You just Chris don't know. Tore your heart out, Vern. Yes, yeah. but I like Chris Paul, and I was just saying that if he was healthy a few years ago, the Rockets would have beaten the Warriors. That's all. Chris Paul was great last night. I had a meltdown online. It's okay. I was just teasing my friends. I was taking that pain and trolling with it. I was the Venus. They were the fly. I'm the fly trap. Okay. What does that mean? Right into that's the dumbest that's a, thing. I, that, actually, that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. No, nope. that's a, a flower. And Where you did you fly. get that? That's I am a bright light, and you are buzzing into me. Who told you that was a good idea to say? <laughs> yeah, that's bad. That's so how bad. are you voting? In, like, how are you betting in Game Seven? The Rockets are gonna win. Okay. There you go. Not only there because you go. I am a Rockets fan, Russ Westbrook is—he's been great for the last two months. I'm not gonna let one quarter change the way I vote. I recommend or bet. Do you think Russ you is 100? percent That's the question you have to have. I think they put him back in there too early. Uh, I, I, so that's my only thing. I, besides his awful way? pass out of bounds with 12 seconds left, that you guys could have went to overtime to take it. I was very happy. I had OKC plus five. I didn't sprinkle on the money line. Don't ask me why. So this time, I am sprinkling on the money line. I'm going to take OKC plus the points and the money line. Greg agrees with me. I like it. Yes, yes. I'm. Oh, wait. That's that. not Greg. That's Greg. I'm, <laughs> love, I'm, I'm the other way, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> But I'm loving that. I honestly think, I mean, I, last week I was on OKC telling you guys about how they were, this is their year uh, to beat Houston. So uh, I'm rocking with you. Who's with me? Is anyone with me on the I'm, Rockets? I'm with you. I'm with you, Vern. I love the narrative of like the revenge series, Chris Paul and Russell Westbrook, you know, against their former teams. Russ is not going to have a quarter like that ever again. Yes, as Kelly mentioned, he's battling like a, a right quad injury. And he's going to be on a minutes restriction in game seven. But you have the beard. You have Robert Covington. And you have Houston is playing defense. They're forcing isolation ball. I know it's crazy <laughs> to say Houston plays defense, but the Rockets are playing defense. They and are. they're going to win in game seven and continue on in the Western Conference playoffs. Vern, I will side with you. If you can just like, what is the flytrap thing? I still have no idea what the analogy is. And someone <laughs> says that the flytrap analogy was dangerously landing, which I don't think it was. Oh, By the way, it's this landing. Is landing. Right. Can we that give, give that person what? a hoodie? That means that your joke is landing. I need to find one. Landing? Give that person a hoodie. Come give that on. person a hoodie. No, I'm not no. giving hoodies for no. that. I'm with Vern, Mikey. I will ride with you. If, can you offline it? Can we circle back offline on what you were actually uh, talking about? I will about? explain it. Where, Absolutely where are you betting in game seven locks? Thank like you. Rockets, sure, whatever. Next. Okay. <laughs> the Eastern Conference playoffs are set. We've got a little upset action brewing. Who are we taking in the East? Are you guys changing your picks at all? You must you must be talking about like an upset with the Heat over the Bucks, because you you can't be mentioning, yes. you can't be referencing the defending NBA champion Toronto Raptors. Because the defending yeah, NBA champion agree. Toronto Raptors will repeat, they will, they will get out of the East. Look at that value, plus 440 on FanDuel. It was just a blip. It's only one game. Pascal Siakam is gonna find his game again, and Fred Van Vliet and his adorable kids are in the bubble. It's gonna inspire Daddy to have another boost, and he's not gonna be <laughs> terrible in game one again. Fred Van Vliet's gonna come back. Raptors, baby, plus 440. That's the, that's the ticket. I like that value, right. Tab. I'll, I'll rock with you there. Everyone knows we don't lose bets when we bet together, too. Uh, CPT, Jake Sparrow. CPT, that means Captain, Bert. Can you confirm that? There it is. Yes. <laughs> OK. He says, make me hoodie mellow. I'll make you Captain Jack Sparrow hoodie. I don't know what I'm talking about. You get a hoodie, though. That Abby, was I am awful. riding Just, with the Raptors. Let's okay, go. That was awful, wasn't it? Was it really bad? OK, yeah. cool. That was really bad. That was just, just stop. I got you. OK. Listen, I like one. the Everybody, Raptors Kelly. today. Can we get our vibes back? Everybody was overreacting to game one. Yes. Right now, the Raptors are plus 150 to win that series. 
The Bucks are minus 184 to win that series. Those numbers have moved a ton because of one game. I still pick the Raptors and Bucks to move on. I still have that, and I really like the value at Raptors plus 440. They're going to get the win today, and they'll be right back in that series. They are going to get the win today. I did bet Toronto today, but I'm still going with the team. I said weeks ago had a ton of value in the Eastern Conference Final. Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat. Sorry, Giannis. I do love you. You are the Greek god, but you are only one man, and you cannot carry this Bucks team very much further. I think Miami wins that series, goes on to play Cavs Toronto Raptors in the Eastern Conference Finals. But I got to take Miami. They'll be a sizable underdog to Toronto, and I think it's going to be a great series. Now, Kelly, I don't dislike your bet. I actually kind of like it, but I see a better bet. I'm rocking with the Celtics. They have really oh been gelling in the... Come, what? Come, let, come. I'm rocking with the Celtics. They have really been gelling in the playoffs. They're undefeated. Jason Tatum's been balling. I mean, he's turning into a superstar. Jalen Brown, he's been knocking down the threes, playing defense. Marcus Smart, he's been doing the same thing, he's knocking not down the threes, again, playing defense. Right. Marcus Smart's not going to have 21 points again and have, like, five corners. Cabby, 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 wait because I have to say something. Kimball Walker, dribble, dribble, tween, tween, drive and kick, that's what he does, finds the open men, and they knock down the shots. I'm riding with the Celtics. Oh, I think this is their year. The Warriors I mean, aren't in the playoffs. I, like I think, I thank you all for your you analysis. Out. Mikey, you just went through like the weirdest, longish spiel about value and a bunch of other meaningless yeah, stuff. Bad. The Bucks are winning the East. That's it. I'm not overthinking what? it. Boom. Bucks plus 120. Yeah. It, well, I'm, not, chalk I'm not eating reacting. <laughs> I will eat that chalk. Mikey, what are the people chalk. saying? People are saying that Jalen Brown is better than Siakam. Cavi, your thoughts? That's, that's ridiculous. Uh, Pascal Siakam is averaging 24 points. Jalen Brown is nice. He is nice. I don't know He's if not... that's ridiculous, though, Cabby. I mean, Jim. Pascal Siakam has done it. He's done, he was the second best player on a championship Tatum team last day. year. Guys, let's not forget what happened 12 months ago, 14 months ago. He still has the DNA. Jimmy Buckets let's is relax. all the business. Clown 0323, you get a hoodie for that. I like Jimmy Buckets right now. Okay. You got me all, all fired right. up. I'm, I'm <laughs> going to save Cavi here. Get out your Olive Garden gift cards. <laughs> it is our family bet. When you hear your family, that's that joke. We asked you on social what their combined score is going to be. It's Jamal Murray. It's Donovan Mitchell. We're asking you again now. What are we betting tonight on FanDuel? Who do you think is going to go off again for game seven of Jazz Nuggets? Is it Jamal Murray? Is it Donovan Mitchell? Maybe both of them? A little boosty boost there Look at, at the bottom. Boosties. Look at those odds. A little what boost. What does everyone think? I'm going to let Cabby take the floor. I know we're on the same side here, but he is the president of the Jamal Murray fan club. That is so, Cabby, tell the people why we like the over. <laughs> we are rocking with this 23-year-old superstar, Jamal Murray, and the over 31 and a half points. In his last three games, he's averaging 64% from the field. He's a point guard. He dropped a 50-piece, then a 42-piece, then another 50-piece. He is built for moments like this. He's played in two game sevens in his career. It, the last one against Portland, he didn't fare so well, so he's got to make up for that, and Jamal Murray is inspired. Listen, I'm from Canada, Jamal's from Canada, and Vince Carter inspired a nation of basketball players. It is now Jamal Murray's turn to inspire a nation of basketball players in Canada, and he is ready for this moment. Wow. 31 and a half points, take the over in game seven. Let's go. Cabby, the, the most important Sorry, question, bro. though, is, did that you see the Rodney? I like that, throwing arrows. <laughs> Mikey, I'm trying to ask about the odds boost. Jeez. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm tempted Over to 35 take, I'm tempted plus 230. Because it's, it's, it's great value. Okay. 35 points is, is reasonable because the guys who's been electric <coughs> the past few, three games. So I'm, I'll probably sprinkle on that plus 230 from FanDuel. I'm with you. I, I think Cabby. it's worth it. Yep, yep. Cabby, you have sold me. I'm on the Murray over. That's it. Kelly, you, you with us? We're sprinkling on the odds boost as well. Let's go. What? Not so fast, guys. There is a dog on the opposite side of the court. That name, 
His name is Donovan Mitchell. Hold on, Cabby. Let me pull out my laptop and and, 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 and gather some st statistics. He's been nice. Uh, I can't talk, but let me gather some st uh, statistics. There it is. Uh, from his recent games. He dropped 44 the other day. He dropped 51 the other day. And then game one, he dropped 57. This guy has been on fire. Give me the over, I'm taking it. That's gonna be so easy. Uh, let's go, let's get rich off this right here. Let's I'm get rich. I'm pretty happy that everybody's on the over. I was worried Kelly might take the under. That's kind of what she does. She fades the group sometimes. I don't rich, wanna fade you no guys. Fun. This is just like the Damian Lillard thing where the books just haven't adjusted yet. I, in my personal opinion, I, I think Murray's gonna have a great game. I think Mitchell's gonna have a great game. It's gonna be a, a great game seven. I do not think that the under is a very smart bet here. Mikey, where, what are you taking? Look, these boosties, Vern, these boosties have caught my eye. I think both guys are gonna go absolutely off. Murray's getting boosted to plus 230 to go over 35. Spida, yeah, we know. 20 to go over 40. I love both those. Just talked about if all you that. Parlay Spida and Murray's over. You take both of them to hit the over, which the commenters love oh, and nice. I love. That parlay pays you plus 230 on FanDuel. I'm That's in. That's where I think I want to go with this. I'm I in, Mike. I love that bet. I'm in. Count like me in. Mike, the comments are saying, <laughs> are we taking that? Is that our official pick? So, yeah, well, I think it will be. I don't know. There's a lot of comments. I can't really. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Be honest. Hold on. G Money. G Money. Talk to me. You should probably What's up, Denver to win the series because then the Jazz will be the latest team to blow a 3 1 lead. And then, you know, people won't think oh. about your Golden State Warriors anymore. So you kind Kick of. Him out. Kick, Kick him out. Kick him out. Yeah. Kick him out. Kick him out. He out. has to go. Boom. He has to go. <laughs> that was a low blow. How do you think the NBA champion? Oh, here he goes. That was like five okay. years ago, dude. Dude, people, I, no, I, I know, love bro. it. You guys have to be honest. Like, Cabby is not ever mean. I love seeing mean <laughs> Cabby. More mean Cabby. The nicest guy on the show just got you guys. Mikey, it sounds that like box. we're taking the parlay. Can you confirm? That parlay is gold, Neil Var. You get a hoodie for that. I agree with that. Look, everybody, when we ask, what is the combined over under, uh, excuse me, what is the combined point total for both Murray and Spida? People were dropping 81, 89. I saw a couple of hundreds in there. Everybody loved the over. We love the overs. We are parlaying them both together at plus Riding. 20. That is your family. Ride. Right. I just need the vibes. Can we get the vibes back? Let's get Cabby back, back in here. Let's get Cabby. Sorry, sorry, Cabby. Let me. I, We're I'm gonna apologize. get Cabby no, back. Deserve, don't apologize. It's a, don't apologize. <laughs> no, it's I parlay. think it was incredible, Cabby. Don't but, you dare apologize. I'm not. Remember, <laughs> hey, I'm just speaking fact. <laughs> <laughs> Remember what we taught you here today. We're gonna Max get over rich. feelings. Go, Cabby. <laughs> I want one more dig on Greg and the Golden State Warriors. That was so good. Kick her out. Kick her out. <laughs> 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 Look, we're getting rich on our game seven, five leg parlay. Do not listen to Kelly and put your winnings in the bankroll. Instead, buy something nice for yourself once we hit that parlay. And we're going to be hammering another parlay. It's the Donovan Mitchell, Jamal Murray point total over on FanDuel as a family. Thank you guys for watching. Leave in the chat. Game seven, hey. baby. Nothing easy.